Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the, another bonus love read. This reading is something that I'm doing for all the signs. This reading in particular is going to be for the sign of Virgo. Topic of the reading is, will they ever commit to you? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, whoever it is that you really want to commit to you and to take things next level with you. And if you don't know if it's ever going to happen or not, and your person is not telling you, they are not expressing their love, feelings, emotions to you, you really want to know, will it ever happen? This reading will help you know that. I will be adding um, cards to say uh, to, to, to guide you through, um, so what shall you be doing in the given situation to make things work in your favor as well. So stick around, and uh, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's dive into the read and let's find out will they ever commit to you? The first card that came out is a four of wands card. So the answer is a big yes already. But I feel like you know there, there must be something which is happening right now which is the reason why you want to check this read. Let's see what else is coming in. But uh, with the Four of Wands, to be very honest, it's a it's a beautiful energy to have because uh, you and this person will end up together. That's for sure. There's no doubt and fear. Uh, there shouldn't be any doubt or fear around it. The, maybe the circumstances are not in the favor. Maybe there are things which are being delayed. Maybe there are, you know, uh, slow moving energies in this connection. But it seems like, yes, they will come to you and yes, you will end up with this person, which is a very beautiful energy to have. Let's see more cards here. Will they ever? Yeah, I feel like you know, this person is your soulmate. This person is your twin flame. This person is bound to be the one who's going to commit to you. So I feel like you know, this is um, very clear with this card also. Like, you know, the second card is Six of Cups. So um, definitely, this person will definitely commit to you. Uh, whatever the current situation is, whatever it is that is stopping this person from doing so, it is... Uh, very close to be over like you know it's um it's you are almost there to to get what you desire with this person um the divine has prepared your person already to give you what you want so i feel like you know um the wait is over for majority of you you will see some major shifts coming in for you in this connection where your person um is going to give into the connection um right now too when we are doing this read i feel like you know, your person is considering to to offer you the commitment they are like thinking through things they are kind of like you know, trying to make a decision about it uh but i feel like yes they they, they have a lot of uh, feelings and emotions um and i feel like you know they feel somehow that they are ready and prepared to express it they they are basically kind of like you know boosting their kind of um confidence ego um to to be upfront about what they feel for you uh maybe they they were feeling like you know uh, they, they are ready to crush their ego and be boost their confidence to to express their love and feelings to you i feel like you know um for some of you there could have been like issues in the connection like uh, coming from the other people uh, or their influence especially if it has uh, to do with their work or something like that but i feel like you know those um situations events that were affecting your love life with this person is going to be like over so you will be having a new beginning coming in with this person which is going to be like a committed one and i feel like you know your person would be talking about it very soon um i really see the communication coming in very soon i feel like it can happen uh within a week time or so as well for some of you but i really see that the situation is improving and you will be proposed by this person yes they will definitely commit to you um i feel like you know, for those of you who have broken up or ended the connection or things have ended or something like that might have happened but no matter what has happened yes there's a strong 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 chance of the two of you getting together and um they will be returning back to you if they have pulled away or they have walked past uh, you know this this uh, connection already and they feel like you know no they need to move on and this uh, this and that they will be returning back to you i feel like it's very important for you to understand that there might have been a lot of disappointments that might have happened in the connection but yes they are going to be drawn to you again they will be coming to you they will be proposing you they will be committing to you they will be making that choice and decision that yes they want you so you have nothing to worry around it at all now let's see what are the things that you still need to work towards to to get what you desire quicker with this person so we have our cards here let's see what they have to add to the read let's see what are the things that you really need to work on to have what you desire quicker such a curious dream grounded returning to reality coming home 
for some of you, you might be having a lot of dreams around, uh, you know, mysterious dreams right now. Um, try to listen to those dreams. Try to pick up the signs and messages coming with that, you know, dream of yours that you might be having right now. And I feel like, you know, it's very important right now. Um, to understand that, like, you know, whatever the current situation is, for majority of you, you might feel like, you know, you um, you want to put an end to the connection because this person is not committing you. This person is not giving you what you want. Now, but again, having said that, you still dream for the same person. You still wish for the same person. Why? Because this is the place where you belong. This is the connection where you belong. So I feel like, you know, ultimately you're going to have that understanding and you're going to ground yourself to the point where you feel like, okay, fine, I will allow the divine to take care of the rest and I'm gonna stick around and I'm gonna believe in it and I'm gonna let it happen so just that is something that you have to do right now stop being on and off in your head will it be the one or will they be the one or this and that just relax falling the unknown descent momentum change I feel like you know um, it's time for for things to change it's time for you to walk into the unknown um, you have to Try a different um, direction for yourself right now to deal with the current situation. You might have been upset. You might have been like, you know, um, disturbed. But now is the time you have to look at things from a different perspective. If you feel like things are falling apart, let them fall apart. Because something beautiful is going to come. Something change, something, some big change is going to come after that. Uh, shine bright like a candle. You will make it, make it through this. I feel like, you know, it's very important right now as you wait while you wait for things to unfold. It's very important for you to know that. Um, you have to look after yourself right now. You have to shine bright from within. You have to know and believe that you're worthy of beautiful energies coming your way. You are worthy of love. You're worthy of uh, attention. You're worthy of commitment. So you have to start working on that right now rather than like, you know, waiting for things to happen. Why not taking the step the, that is going to make you feel like a magnet to all that you desire? So stop working on those goals. Law is not justice. Rules that are not fair. I feel like you know, for a majority of you, you're waiting and craving for justice in your love life right now with this person you got to stop believing in one thing you know you are the one who start doing justice to yourself stop putting yourself as 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 somebody who's like you know it's, it's more like you know the blame game or the you know uh playing the victim here is is not gonna what get you what you want you have to better yourself up you have to start taking the you know um Stop taking, like, own the success or own the failure that you have right now and try to work towards getting yourself better up, you know, bettering yourself up in one way or the other. Once you do that, once you start working on that, you are going to see that you you waited for the justice to come in when you could do the justice to yourself. So it's high time that you understand that. Nobody's going to give you anything if you don't give your love and affection to yourself first. So that's what you really need to do right now. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. It's very important. Right now, maybe you're getting anxious. You're getting angry. You're getting upset. You're getting negative. You have to stop letting all those emotions get the best of you or the situation. It's very important right now for you to love yourself, take care of yourself, and try to be kind and generous to yourself. That's how you are going to get the love and generosity coming from the person that you are dealing with as well. So there are so many things that you can work towards as you wait while you wait. Let's see the last card of the read. Let's see what it has to add. What else do you need to do to have what you desire quicker? Let's see. Wow. I feel like, you know, the winter after this is going to be very, like, you know, when we are doing this read, the winter time after this is going to be very significant. Because I really feel like, you know, your, your uh, challenges that you are having right now will be over in the month of uh, in the winter month uh, whenever it's a min winter in, in your country your state but it is important for you to clearly communicate as well like you know whenever you talk to this person whenever you have the communication coming in whenever you have the conversation around the love and relationships you have to be very clear around what it is that you are expecting out of this connection and again um, it's not about the other person only. It's about you yourself as well. What is it that you truly desire in your love life? And then allow the divine to take the, you know, um, the matter in there uh, in, in its hand and allow the divine to take care of everything else. So you just have to know that um, you just have to know what it is that you want. You just have to know what it is that you desire. You just have to intend and then 
allow it to come through that's what you really want uh that what you that's what you really have to do and as you wait while you wait you have to better yourself up as well you know you don't have to do anything to make things work in this connection that you're having with this person all you have to do is you have to work on your own self right now to get what you desire coming to you quicker so what you desire will desire you when you become desirable for yourself so that's what you um that's what you really have to work towards and uh, that's pretty much it coming in for you for this uh, read if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye